Ma, I'm scared. I don't think the curse is over yet. Jonathan, you don't have to rationalize to me. You want another glass of wine? Take it. <laughs> oh, I feel guiltier than ever. Ma, I didn't tell a friend the truth. Rose doesn't need to find out. We can move on with our lives as if nothing happened. Let it go, pussycat. Dorothy, she's right. I'm gonna marry Rose, you'll be the maid of honor. No, that's right, that's right. The maid of honor. The guilty, sin-ridden, backstabbing maid of honor. <laughs> She's not letting go. Look, I'm sorry, Ma. I don't like to keep secrets. Oh, like when you kept the secret, you were taking me to Shady Pines? <laughs> Ma, I swear, I didn't sleep more than seven hours that night. <laughs> I'm telling Rose. Hey, Dorothy, if you tell Rose, she'll think I'm trying to hide it. Well, you are. Well, only because you were. Hey, hey, now listen, if you're going to tell her, I'm going to tell her first. What difference does it make who tells her first? Look, this isn't for our good, it's for her good. Now, let's just go out there and tell her. Look, Dorothy, if you let me tell her first, I'll forget about the $500. That's a lie! <laughs> Rose. She's a bad girl. Look, Rose, we have to talk. Please, sit down a oh, second. Oh, I don't deserve to sit. Rose, what are you talking about? Oh, Dorothy, you can't see my dark side because you're good, and good can't see evil. No, no, no. I am the evil one. I kissed Miles. I know you kissed Miles. I saw you. No, before that. It was earlier and longer. Look, Rose, Rose, it, it, it just happened. I mean, evil took over my lips. I, I feel so guilty. We both do. Well, that's the silliest thing I ever heard. Feeling guilty for sharing a little kiss with a friend? Well, see, she's right. There's nothing wrong with kissing a friend. Or a stranger. <laughs> Who knows why we acted like we did? We? Let me finish. Miles, maybe you did it because you're just a little nervous about us getting married. Well, I am a little. Well, that's because we're rushing into it for some free honeymoon, not because we're ready. And Dorothy, maybe subconsciously you were trying to block my marriage because you like me living here. Okay. <laughs> And Sophia, maybe you wanted to tell me about Miles and Dorothy kissing because you're just a mean old woman like the paper boy said. <laughs> okay. Where's, uh, where's Darren? Oh, I'm sorry, Blanche. The police came for him and he ran away. He's gone? Gone again? Are you all right, Blanche? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm all right. I mean, I threw my party because I wanted romance and excitement and moonlight madness, and that's what I got. I got it all with an English accent. I didn't have to compromise my virtue. I feel like a lady again. And to tell you the truth, I'm starting to get sick of it. What a night. <laughs> Doesn't it feel as though we just woke from a dream? You know, it really has been like Shakespeare with magic and moonlight and the wrong people falling in love. I mean, what does Puck say in the last speech from A Midsummer Night's Dream? If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear and this weak and idle theme, no more yielding, but a dream. Well, pardon me while I play the grand piano. 